There are two alternate sets of Orc Mail in Skyrim Anniversary Edition or separately as part of the Creation Club content. You've got the scaled and then you've got the plated. To get the scaled, head to Riften and the Mistfield Keep Barracks. Upstairs in one of the bedrooms on a shelf you should find a dossier. Give you the location of Crags Lawn Cavern which is just north of Shore Stone and that's further north of Riften. Now when I got there, since I've already completed the calls, the Oblivion themed DLC quest, I had a bunch of the Dremoras fighting off against some of the Stendar. So it's not guaranteed you'll find the same thing. Anyhow, once you've cleared out any guards or any bandits around, go into the cavern. You'll find a few guards and bouncers as you pretty much come across a gambling den. It's going to be filled with gamblers and I've got to say again, I'm not 100% sure if I hadn't attacked them all, I might have been able to get in here and maybe a bit sneakily. But definitely the first guard I came across did pop up red, so I'm assuming they're all enemies. Looking for Antonus' note on his body, I think he's already dead, and he's going to tell you where the collector is in the Bee and the Barb Inn. So back to Riften and to the inn and you've got a few options. You can try intimidating him, you can tell him to leave or you can try and outright buy the stuff from him. It will cost a thousand gold if you do decide to buy it from him. Be warned if you choose the option for him to leave before killing him then you will have to follow him and it takes forever for him to get out of the bounds of the guards. Even when I thought I was well clear of Riften I still had a few guards floating by. He'll have a plain set of orcish scaled boots gauntlets, helmet and armour sets and they're pretty decent but with no enchantments on them. They are a light armour set. So yeah, my best advice is if you've got a lot of gold, go ahead and just spend the money on him or try and intimidate him if you've got the right appropriate skills. So for the Orcish plate, we're off to Whiterun to the guardhouse as soon as you come in the entrance to Whiterun. You'll find a dossier giving you the location of where you're going to find the plate armour. It's pretty close by and I recommend this dungeon for very much beginners. It's in the Ember Shard Mine, just close to the standing stones that you originally come across, the Guardian ones close to Riverwood. There are a fair few bandits, but they're pretty low level. I was taking them out with one swing. The only difficulty you may have is the final target, which is significantly stronger than the rest of the bandits. You'll also pick up a few pieces of Orcish plate armor from some of these bandits as well. Eventually, make your way through and take care of Yaktu, Gra, or Klok, and the rest of them. And as you can see, all the rest of the bandits are pretty easy to take on. When you search her, she'll give you a note telling you to search the body right next to the actual blacksmith. And this one has got some enchantments on it. The plate armor is going to do 25% extra block damage with your shield. Then you've got the boots, which are going to give you an extra 35 points of carrying. Then you've got the gauntlets which are going to improve your armour and weapon making by 25% or, and then you've got 17 points for the helmet in terms of heavy armour. And there we go, that is the two alternate sets of Orc armour. I've got to say I much prefer the light armour to the heavy, that's because that usually fits my builds more and I just actually like the look of it a lot more. But this is the heavy armour set and this is the light armour set which I definitely much prefer. Go check out all the other short little guides for all the alternate armors and the rest of my Skyrim content and I'll see you rat bags later.